OPPD says there are just over 6,000 power outages in Douglas County after the storms overnight. And today that included the Florence neighborhood. It's also where many residents spent the morning cleaning up storm debris. KETV News Watch 7's Quinicia Fraser met with them and joins us live. Yeah, Julie, Rob, we didn't have to get too far into the Florence neighborhood to immediately notice the end result of the storm. A lot of yards had tree limbs like this scattered across with homeowners working to clean most of it up. In the Florence neighborhood, very high wind, very, very heavy rain. The calm after Tuesday's storm, a lot of wind, so a lot of lightning. Left many residents in the dark with the power being out for several hours. Fortunately, I have a lot of flashlights. We haven't opened up the refrigerator or freezers. Neighbors raked away the mess Mother Nature left. There's a lot of limbs broken off this morning from the street all the way to our back lot line. Doc Brenner and his wife have lived in their historic North Omaha home for 42 years. And they say storms like this are anything but new for them. We have done this many times before. Just a few houses down. So I've been out here a long time. Melvin Mobley was a little more shaken up. I don't remember one like this in years with this much wind. But homeowners like Mobley and Brenner are staying positive. We're hoping for the best though. And ready for quieter, calmer nights. You heard from Melvin Mobley in this story. I just talked to him. He says he's still without power. At one point, more than 36,000 OPPD customers were without power. Again, that just goes to show the impact of last night's storm. Reporting live in North Omaha, Quinicia Fraser for KETV Newswatch 7.